What's up, everybody? I went to McDonald's in Tokyo to check out their new Halloween burgers. Now, the first burger is black. It's called the Ikasomi Burger. That means Squid Ink Burger. And the second burger is white, and it's called the Camembert Chicken Filet. These burgers are spooky as fuck. So I bought one of each of these burgers, and I'm getting pretty excited to try them out. So let's check out the boxes first. This box for the chicken filet has a sweet ass ghost on the cover. They've also got pictures of the ingredients. For example, mayonnaise, camembert cheese, chicken filet, lettuce, and some fucking onions. Nice box if you ask me. Next we've got the box for the squid ink burger. It's got a sweet ass witch on the front. We've also got pictures of cheese, squid ink sauce, a burger, and what I can only imagine is bamboo charcoal. Those are some pretty serious ingredients right there. So I think I'm going to try out this white burger first. Let's check it out. Wow, that's one spooky chicken burger. That bun's looking pretty fucking white. I guess they must have bleached it to kingdom come to make it look like a damn ghost. Now I see some white stuff on the bun there. I don't know if it's camembert cheese or mayonnaise, but anyway, I think it's time to try out this buck wild burger fucking things already falling apart we got lettuce flying all over the place here anyway here we go it's pretty interesting so the first thing I'm tasting there is that bleached ass bun I don't know it's kinda hard to explain this burger I'd say this thing tastes white if that makes any sense let's try another bite and investigate further yeah, it just tastes white. I mean, it doesn't have any zest or spice to it. I can barely taste that camembert cheese. All I taste is the mayonnaise. And on top of that, I think the chicken in this burger is low quality. Fucking thing's supposed to be a filet, which means a cut of chicken. Let's try out this thing one more time. Yeah, I'm sorry to say, but that is not a chicken filet right there. That is like some chicken nugget action. Tastes like someone got some leftover chicken parts like chicken balls and other shit, put it into a meat grinder, slammed it together, and called it a chicken filet. So I don't know, maybe I just got some bad luck on that chicken burger. Let's try out the squid ink burger, hopefully McDonald's can redeem itself. And wow, check out that squid ink burger. Bun's looking pretty dark right there. I don't know why that bun is dark. I don't know if that's squid ink infused inside the bread or if they're using bamboo charcoal. And holy shit, look at the inside. We got some orange shit that looks like cheese whiz. And supposedly that other stuff is fried onions. Now I gotta be honest here, people. Only a few weeks ago, I tried out Burger King's Buckwild Black Burger. That burger tasted good. That burger tasted real fucking good. So right now, my standards are pretty damn high. So let's try this thing out. Interesting. That's a pretty damn cheesy burger right there. The top of the burger has that cheese whiz and the bottom has real cheese, so... The cheese is strong with this one. Let's try it again. Got some fried onions on that bite. It's a pretty nice touch. I barely taste that squid ink. It is there, but it's not quite so strong. Now I've got a bit of a problem again. You know that beef, compared to the Burger King Black Burger, the beef quality is just not that great. I don't know, I mean, don't get me wrong, this burger's alright, the white one's alright too, but when I have a Halloween burger, I want that thing to be buck fucking wild. I want that thing to be epic, I want that thing to be life changing. I'm sorry McDonald's, it just seems like these burgers are a little bit subpar, a little bit of a half-assed effort. I don't know, I thought I liked McDonald's. Now I don't know what's real anymore. I mean, McDonald's, you played with my heart. Anyway, if you want to see a real Buckwild Squid Ink Burger, check out my link in the description to the Burger King Black Burger Taste Test. So thanks for watching. Why don't you leave a comment, let me know what you think.